was just kind of strange because he was actually inside the building that I live in, so it was just kind of like alarming. A man groping several women in buildings on campus and the University of Dayton on alert tonight. Elise Coulter is live right now on campus with what you need to know to protect yourself. Elise. Students walking on campus groped from behind and the man accused caught in the act. And tonight students are making sure they're not his next target. Take a look at this mystery man in this surveillance picture. He's accused of walking behind women and grabbing their buttocks. The search is on tonight on the University of Dayton's campus. We got an email about it, so I heard about it that way and people were talking about it like on campus. A part of me was worried, but I never like felt as if I was always by myself. I was always like with my friends, so I never like worried for myself. Anne Marie McKenzie walks with her friends on campus and didn't take the email to UD students lightly. I think it definitely should be taken seriously. I mean, like you never know when things can escalate or how far they could go and like anything just like even some way attacking like that should definitely be taken seriously. The man groping women in three different buildings, Marinus Hall, St. Joseph's Hall and Cronin Athletic Center. It was just kind of strange because he was actually inside the building that I live in, so it was just kind of like alarming. Layla Funk has a good reason to be on alert. It kind of worried me, especially I'm an RA, so it kind of just freaked me out because like I wanted my residents to be safe, so I told them how to lock their doors and stuff like that. I just told them to keep their eyes out if they like saw anything suspicious to let me know and just to keep their doors locked. Alarming for all students on campus, but they know how to fight back and not become an easy target. Making sure the issue is always aware and everyone kind of knows just like stay with your friends, stay with the group, like anything along those lines can always help. Welcome in Paris, yeah, if you see something suspicious, Call public safety. That's always a safe bet. If caught, he faces several different charges ranging from sexual imposition to sexual assault. Those range from a misdemeanor to a felony, and those carry a sentence of 60 days in jail, up to five years in prison. For now, reporting live on the University of Dayton's campus, Elise Coulter, Fox45Now.com. Elise, thank you. There is also something called the Companion app that's used by college students all across the country. It allows a friend to walk virtually with you across campus via GPS and track your every move. You can alert them or police with just the touch of a button if you get nervous or get into trouble. Now, there are also emergency blue lights all around UD's campus, so you can also set those off in case you fear for your safety and need help.